What's going on everyone? Gilman with Live Wealthy Stocks back with our daily Tesla and NEO update video ticker symbol TSLA and ticker symbol NIO where we take a look at how both of these stocks traded today key levels of support and resistance that we are looking at moving into the future and based on that what we think these stocks could do so real quick if you enjoy videos like this don't forget to hit that like button down below subscribe to my channel if you are new and comment down below what your thoughts on tesla and or neo are and i'd love to chat with you guys down there so let me go ahead and pull this up on my computer for us and I will hit record, we'll get right into the video. So Tesla had itself a small green day on the day, um, but at one point it was up a lot more than uh, where it ended the day. So we'll take a look at that. Um, let's also take a quick look at the QQQs, which rallied today. Reason being, right, we, as we've seen over the past couple of weeks, yields are highly correlated with, uh, you know, the, the tech stocks that we've been seeing here. So yields went uh, are down today on Monday, um, which which is why we saw a lot of tech stocks go up today. They went up on Friday, which is why we saw them going down. So that correlation continues. Um, so, you know, keep a cl close eye on that yield, the 10 year yield um, as it reached a 14 month high this past Friday. Um, so let's take a look at, you know, how Tesla stock traded today. Now, real quick, um, I know a lot of you guys are aware that uh, ARK Invest and Kathy Woods came out with a Tesla price target by 2025 hugely anticipated um, by a lot of people, right? We were waiting on that ARK Invest, uh, you know, kind of report to come out, that price target to come out, which finally happened a few days ago. And in the video I made yesterday, the weekly Tesla update video, I go into a little bit more detail about the, the what they're talking about, right? So they talk about an expected value. I believe it was 3000 expected, a little bit higher for the bull case and a little bit lower for the bear case. The bear case was still, I think, $1,500. So in either way, they have huge, huge hopes for Tesla. So in that video, I talk about kind of the assumptions that they're making in um, you know, when they were talking about kind of the, the push in both the uh, vehicle delivery or vehicle sales enhanced deliveries, uh, but mostly vehicle sales and then also the autonomous ride hailing service, whether that's going to be autonomous, which they're placing a lot of money um, on or if it's going to be kind of a passenger assisted ride hailing service. In either of those, right, I'll talk about that, so check out yesterday's video. I'm not gonna kind of respend time on that. But one thing that I also wanna cover, to cover is that we are, um, you know, Volkswagen stock, if you guys have followed that, has been going absolutely bonkers, right? And one thing to understand is that Volkswagen is going to be a pretty decent competitor to Tesla, especially in some of the European markets, right? We, we took a look at some of those numbers last week. Although Tesla re reclaimed, um, I believe the number two spot in Germany, right, where Volkswagen is made, we can expect some fierce competition to continue for Tesla in the European region for many, many uh, you know years to come as they other these other kind of established companies start to do a little bit of catching up. I'm not saying that Tesla is done for, right? But until now, they've kind of had a lot of um, they've had a little bit more of a competitive advantage, which I think they'll continue to have for a little bit as these companies are improving and adapting to the EV world. But once they do start to catch up, right, they can start to uh, take some of that EV market share as well, um, which I'm not saying is going to decrease Tesla sale, but they could potentially slow the growth of Tesla's, uh, uh, Tesla sales. So now let's take a look at how Tesla stock traded today. We'll take a look at key levels of support and resistance that we have coming up. So right here, right, we ended the day in the mid 600s. We pushed up, um, gapped up a little bit, 665, um, you know, perfectly bouncing between our levels right at the open, got rejected at 694, went back down to our 672 level. Um, and then we pushed up, took a little breather, kind of bounced, didn't really bounce off VWAP, but, but came down to pretty close to that number. And then we pushed up and we really hit that 698 a couple times, as you can see right there. Um, and then we, um, you know, kind of sold off a little bit and then we pushed up uh, and then bounced off the view app line, pushed up. And then this last kind of hour, we went from the six nineties to the $670 mark, a little bit of sell off, a little bit of profit taking there, still ending the day up 2%. But at one point we were up, uh, you know, about 29, 30 more dollars. So you add that in, it was a, almost a six, 7% day going for Tesla. Still not a terrible day, uh, but compared to where we were, um, you know, not a, ter not a great end to the day. So what I do like, again, green day, what I don't like 
is this sell-off, right? We ended the day decently below VWAP. We gave up a lot of the gains towards the end of the day. So what I'm wondering is, look, we got a great, great kind of bull case by ARK, and that wasn't even enough to get past 700. So as you can see now, 700 is acting as a little bit of a resistance. Not to say we didn't know that that was coming, uh, but I was really hoping that we would see that. Now we could still see 700s as I'm hoping for uh, you know sometime this week. So let's talk about future levels of support, future levels of resistance. So again, the 694, 690, or excuse me, we ended the day here at 670. So we got 672, 678 as kind of the two first levels of support that we, or excuse me, resistance that we need to break. Let me start that over. 672 and 678 are the first levels of resistance that we are looking at. If we can break 678, then we got 694, 698, those two really close levels. Um, the reason I'm pointing out 694 and 698 because sometimes we'll go to 698, come back and bounce off 694 and then push up as we saw today. So again, if we can break through 672, 678, next stop 694, 698, and then 700. Clearly our high today was 699, 62, so we got pretty darn close to it. Um, and then the last couple times that we even got above it, right, um, 717 is that next point to look out for, but we weren't able to hold that last week. So the last time we were even really above the 700 mark was, um, you know, about a month ago, and the next day we came below 700. So 700, as you can see, has been very, very difficult for Tesla to hold in recent times. So hopefully we see that change around soon. But if we keep falling, the first level that we have is 658, and then we got this 641 level. Those are the two levels I'm looking at on the downside um, in case Tesla does start to fall. Now, one thing that I would was hoping for is this 89 EMA, right, uh, 671. We're barely below that. We're barely below both the eight and the 89 EMA, both at 671. After hours, we're falling. Uh, but hoping that tomorrow we can, you know, once again, come above 671, push up and again, make an attempt at 700s. After hours right now are looking kind of weak. Um, so keep in mind kind of the support and resistance levels that we have. But again, I'm hoping that if we can clear the 670s, push towards the 690s tomorrow, hopefully hold that and then, you know, break 700s at some point this week. Um, while understanding that, you know, if the last hour was any indication we could see some continued weakness maybe we drop to the 658s before we turn around and start to push up um now let's take a look at neo and we'll see with neo a uh, small red day right 41 cents which is 0.95 percent on the day so not a great trading day for neo unfortunately um so let's take a look at you know how neo was so we ended last week on the 43s pre-market we pushed up towards our 44.58 level um and then we bounced almost to our 42.38, right, 20 cents away. And then we were kind of playing around view app and then similar to Tesla, saw a sell off taking us from 44 to the high 42s to end the day. Um, you know, kind of similar story here, you guys, um, not doing too well in this case. We've really struggled at the 46 level um, to hold that, right, going back to kind of, um, let's see this red day in early march was the first day where we were even above the 46 level um other than that we've kind of stayed below that 46 level so hoping for the best staying optimistic um i have neo shares and a leap going out to 2023 so holding on to those in anticipation of a little bit of a turnaround but we will see if we get that so from a resistance level right kind of like we got rejected today in the 4458 and then if we can get above that i think 46 20s is next that level being a level that we've really struggled right it's pretty similar to tesla 700 level that i just talked about um, and then on the other side, we've got 42, 38 and 40, 71, 40, 71 has been great support for us, right? We bounced off of it on Friday as well. We bounced off of it a couple times, even on a red day. So hopefully if we do go down, we bounce at $40 and 71 cents. But what I'm hoping for is a push up, you know, tomorrow or sometime this week, uh, break mid 44s. And then we go up to the 89 EMA, which is right at $46. That would be my goal for Neo this week. I know it's pretty ambitious, uh, depending on the way, kind of based on the way it's going. And if we see a red day, I might have to adjust that. 
Um, but, you know, I'm staying optimistic, holding my shares for now. Um, and that leap call, because I do think NEO has a lot of potential to run. Still hoping that we can make that $46 mark, 89 EMA, establish that as a good level of support and start to push up. But if we see continued weakness, then I'm looking at, at this 42.38 and then the $40.71 mark remember that there is increased competition with volkswagen which is i think one of the reasons why we're seeing a little bit of a decline um so as always you know keep out for keep out keep on the lookout for things like that um but yeah that's all i had for you guys today hope you guys enjoyed if you did don't forget to drop a like subscribe to my channel comment down below what your thoughts on tesla and neo are and i'd love to chat with you guys down there let's remember to be a bit better every single day and until next time